Welcome to the first part of the Fortnite Node Knowledge Tutorial. In this first part I will explain the basic um, information you need about the textures D, N, S and M texture and how they work and how you can use them in Blender to create with really simple three dot lights, uh, two dot lights and one sunlight, a skin like this. First I have to explain this skin also has the E texture for emission. We will not use the E texture, so the skin at the end will only look like this without the glowing part. The E texture is the theme of the next tutorial where we talk about all the types of emission you get with Octane, uh, with, Octane with Blender Fortnite te uh, textures. So I first open uh, all the four textures we talk about today in Photoshop so we can get a better look on the, from the texture. The D, D texture short for diffuse, is just the color part of the skin um, of the model. We have the, all the um, colors and stuff, really simple, really basic. The next, uh, the next uh, texture we want to talk about is a normal texture. The normal texture is looking like a norm, simple normal texture, but for Blender we need to edit something. We will edit this in Blender, so no need to put all ends in Photoshop. But I will first show you what we do in Blender later, so you will better understand. Ah, no, not this. Oops. Uh, There. We will add uh, the G, the green part from the model so it gets uh, like inverted. Everything with snow on this texture is going to up, is then going to down. This is important because um, the normal map in Unreal works different than the normal map in Blender. So we need to edit the normal map a little bit. But when we don't talk about this, it's also just a, the normal map. The normal map is just there to um, give the skin some fake 3D effects and fake shadows. So the next texture we will talk about is the S texture. S is short for specular and this texture is used as a RGB um, packer texture. So we have three different types of textures, three different types of um, flow textures, so black and white textures in one texture. We have a red part, green part and a blue part. The red part is the specular part, the green part are the metallic part and the blue part are the roughness part. We will later in Blender separate all three RGBs so we can get the float values for the different parts of the skin. And last, we have the M texture. The M is like the S. The M is um, mythic. When I'm not 100% sure if it's mask or mythic, the M texture, I will call it mask because yeah, I'm not sure what uh, in the game files it's only called M, so I'm not 100% sure. But the M texture have also three parts. 
the red part for ambient occlusion, the green part for rim light, we don't use the green part in Blender, and the blue part for all the parts where you get skin color. With the blue part you can do subsurface scattering and recolor the skin. To how to recolor a skin I will also make a small part in this tutorial. But yes, these are the four textures and we see uh, back in Blender. So back in Blender I created a completely fresh and new principle BSDF. Uh, I will explain the story not how to use the FN shader from someone. I will explain how to use the normal principle BSDF from um, cycles to create your own material so you don't need any shader. We start simple. I will first open the textures on the other screen so we drop in the D texture and put the color to base color. Next we will drop in the N texture and set the N texture to non-color. Um, he will normally be on sRGB but my N texture and my S texture is automatically non-color because I dropped them in before on the was when um, I set it there in uh, to not the color. So always put an N and the S texture on non-color. So we connect the normal the color with the normal. Then we create uh, with Shift A, and then under search we search for normal map and put it between. So it got from gray to white, so we put it between it. Then we search again for RGB curve. Go to green and edit the green part like this. X to 1, Epsilon to 0. So we set up the normal mapping part. Next part is uh, separate the S texture for metallics, background roughness. So we, I drop in the S texture, check if it's non color If it's not, set it to non color Shift A, RGB, and then here we have separate RGB. Put the color into the image. Air go to specular. G go to metallic and B go to roughness. Now you see when I activate the EV rendering for light, it looks good. R really much better than just the normal and the D textures example. It looks really flat without specular, metallic and roughness. So now we have the S texture finally in, the D texture and the normal texture. Now we um, need the M texture, the mask, the missing texture. I use them for um, SSS and AO. So we need also separate RGB. Then we have the air part for AO, the green part for rim light, we don't need the rim light, and the B part for um, the skin mask. Um, at the first I will show you what you always need to do. You go to mix RGB, put in between the mix RGB, put the B into the color 2, and set up this to multiply. So you get, let's show it to you, just a little bit more. Oh, not, I've uh, completely pushed it over the top, not B. 
air for wet, the AO part this is AO. Um, now, like you see, you get more ambient occlusion, more shadows on parts like here where two meshes touch each other throughout with some AO. I would say they all like 0 05 or something. Yeah. Always something I have. At the end. After I did some other skins later with gradient diffuse textures, different tutorial, later tutorial. Um, always need big chunks of parts and for diffuse. And always at the end I add the multiply with the wet part with the AO part but yes now I will explain how to edit the skin color you don't need to edit the skin color for this skin but I will explain it to you because some skins will need it later so at first to create a skin color changer we need a mix RGB again. Here we can set up the color we want, like, I don't know, let's make something a little bit darker, a little more like this. Yeah, this is much better. Um, also we need, or well, we don't need, normally we set, uh, set it like this, white is one, we never can get over one with just color, so we can add a value connected to the color and then we can go over one, but normally we don't want to go over one, so we just set it on one. But I don't really happy about this color. Let's change a little bit more red. Way much more green, not so much. Zero zero ninety. Yeah, this is much better. Um, also, factor to 1 and set it up to multiply. Then we need another multiply connected here. Connect this there. And as factor, we use the B, the skin mask. So, and so we added the skin color. You also can edit it to make it brighter, darker. To make it purple for like dark bomber or rune version of the skin. Also we can edit the value to make it lighter and darker. And to make it a little bit too bright so let's activate the EV bloom. <laughs> But yeah, this is how to make a color changer with the M texture. But we don't need this, so we can simply delete it and reconnect our normal uh, our normal D texture with the multiply from the AO. And now we have normally everything set up. Only thing now we can also set up more is can make this a little bit reddish and then we can create a, a map range connect the B as value set this to something like 0 0.3 and put it into the subsurface Uh, yeah, nah, it's okay. Bit, bit 
darker. So. And so we get a nice subsurface scattering effect on the skin. It's a little bit harder. I set it down to 0 0.2. Um, the reason why I don't use a color ramp, a lot of um, Blender designer use color ramp. I don't like color ramp because color ramp has two big problems when you use EV. First, a color ramp is um, count as a texture and you try to get less textures so it renders faster. Um, other really big plus for the map ranges it's way better for performance so you don't get if you use I don't know like 20 color ramps it's get everything a little bit laggy because there are 20 new textures and these are math so yeah other thing is don't work with colors if you need a color ramp with colors then it's a map range not this you really need but yeah this is how a little bit really dark Higher, a bit more orange. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, but this is how I made my Fortnite skins, the basic skins. I hope uh, you liked the tutorial and the tutorial idea about the uh, tutorial series about my node knowledge, so I can explain how to use and how to use what. To make the perfect notes uh, for the skins and learn how to port everything by your own. I also will talk uh, a little bit about your model in the next, not in the next, but in one of the next tutorials to get some more information about the materials in your model. And yeah, I hope I can help you and. Hope you are with you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.